So, on to the first match. This is going to be Rue against Sora. Rue has, well, both uh, players have been playing this tournament quite uh, some time, actually, and both have participated in previous iteration of the game. So, yeah, definitely looking forward to this match. Konbanwa, ah, Konbanwa, san Yoroshiko Hi. Okay, so big first jumping H from uh, Rusan immediately opened up uh, Sora right there. Very nice. Wow, that was a big overhead right there. Oh, and the, the, the DP, the immediate DP from Sora right away, as expected. <laughs> Should I say it? Okay, here we go. Okay, he's probably trying to. Yeah, he was definitely trying to bait the DP right there. Good stuff. <clears throat> okay, very big counter hit right there. He's gonna get. Yeah, you. Oh, and very big Alpha Blade. Very nice. Uh, very nice schmixes right there from Rue. Good stuff. Oh, okay, here we go. The Zwei from Sora. Okay, he got Rue in the mixer. Unfortunately, he got DP'd right there. This must have hurt a lot. Okay, here we go. Very nice air grab from Sora right there. Okay, here we go. Oh, what happened? That was so crazy. Very nice stuff from Sora right there. Okay, here we go. Okay, the onslaught is real. Rue is really slowly but surely escorting Sora in the corner, but he has a huge life deficit right there. Sora is currently doing a good job of like remaining very calm and not like committing to any like unwanted. Very nice stuff from Sora. He was able to take one round right there. Okay, next one is the final round. We'll see who is going to take this one. <clears throat> okay, very nice Alpha Blade right there. Okay, very nice Sukiyaki as well. Okay, good stuff. Very nice big nugget burger from Sora right there. He was a little bit angsty, probably trying to really get uh, Rue off of him. But yeah, Rue is doing a good stuff of uh, a good uh, job of like mixing his options up and just run up for the grab. Very nice stuff from. I just cannot think of that thing. Watashi wa tsukimono ni miru. So on this guy. Omoshiroi desu ne. Okay, here we go. Very big jumping HS right there from Rue is gonna get the wall break. Good stuff from him. Okay, let's see if... Okay, like remaining very, very calm right there. Okay, he's probably gonna get the wall break. Very nice combo right there from Rue. Good stuff. Just wall break. The soft knockdown though. Okay, very nice alpha blade right there. He got the kill. Okay, this is gonna be match point. Let's see if we're going to see an adjustment from Sora right there or not. Okay, big, big opportunity right there from Sora. <clears throat> okay, both opponents are really trying to scramble a bit. Have a, have a pretty hard time trying to... Uh, Get the it's his opponent to stay uh, to stay in place. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be a big combo right there. Good stuff. Okay, here we go. Nice stuff from Sora, and he gets DP. Then this is gonna do. Okay, good stuff from. This match is gonna be Law against Low. I'm sorry, Low against Ponya. So two very very strong players. I couldn't tell for the life of me who's uh, who's most fitting to take it. To be quite honest, both opponents are extremely strong, so uh, so I really don't know uh, how it's going to go. But we'll see, we'll see eventually. <clears throat> okay, here we go, direct clear right away. Very nice stuff. <clears throat> okay, good stuff. Okay, here we go. So. Yeah, Lo doing a good job of keeping Ponya away, but Ponya just found his way in. Very nice enter into Diary Claret there. Okay, very nice attempt of Ponya to try to pin Lo on the ground and really prevent him from putting any type of distance between him and it. Between him. Okay, you can see that Ponya is really trying to fish for something. Make uh, Lo press some buttons. Very nice stuff, just using the, the, the throw to try and open him up. And the dust into the... A Roman cancel for the kill. Very nice stuff from Ponya right there. Okay, let's see if there's going to be some sort of adjustment right there. Very nice combo right there from Low. He got the distance. He's got the positioning. This is going to be a very, very hard time for Ponya to try and get in. 
Okay, here we go. Dokkan. Oh, yeah. Cheeky command grab right there. But given that Ponya was aware of it, he backdashed and just really proceeded to run towards Law to try to close the distance. But in doing so, you can see that Ponya has lost a ton of life. It's going to be really hard for him to try to bring it back. Here you go. The big, big counter hit right there on the on the jumping HS. And here we go. The Kuraina and the, the attempt of... Uh, Ponya to try and schmix, <laughs> not schmix, but snaps actually. Very nice stuff for Ponya, he had to try. Okay, okay, here we go. Bad start of the round four. Ponya immediately is already at the other side of the screen, gonna try to, he's gonna have to try to close the distance. Okay, he's running ever so slightly, alternating between running and using the FD to try to uh, counter to, to block any incoming attacks. Very nice opening right there from Ponya. The, uh, his patient has definitely paid off. Good stuff from him. Okay, ooh, wow, the big counter hit right there. This is gonna be big damage. Actually, not so much. He wasn't able to... He wasn't able to build up on it, but it's still okay. Okay, both opponents have a full bar of tension. But Lo is in disadvantage. He doesn't have any burst bar, so that means if he gets open, it's gonna be huge damage. Is that gonna do? This is gonna do, probably, yeah. Very nice stuff from Ponya. His patience definitely paid off. Okay, here we go. On to the next match. Good start of the round right there from Ponya. Very nice stuff. He forces the burst. This is very, very good stuff from him. Kimata! <laughs> Here we go. Big Axel Bomber. This is going to do a huge amount of damage. Good stuff from him. Wow! The, oh my god. So many Axel Bombers right there. This was crazy. Good stuff from him. This made a huge amount of damage right there. Good stuff. Okay, oh, here we go. Nah, this is gonna be hard, yeah. Good stuff. Break, break, break. <laughs> ah, and here we go. Just runs up straight into the uh, the the two uh, S right there from low. This was pretty big. Okay, here we go. The Dokan really trying to keep Ponya away and really prevent him from getting in whatsoever like this is really really hard for him okay here we go finally a, a counter hit from Ponya he finds the he found the opening but right away yeah put Lo is really keeping things really really cool he's not like overextending at all good stuff from him oh okay, here we go the Chotomate <laughs> Oh, okay, here we go, finally, po Ponya has something going on right there. Oh, okay, and unfortunately, this wasn't enough to secure it. Oh, okay, here we go, dual one. Ah, here we go, yeah, t using the twist to really prevent his opponent from getting in. Sorry for the wait. I have a small chat problem, guys. I'm really sorry. Oh, here we go. We should do though. Okay, very nice stuff from Lo was able to get it. So on to the match point. Let's see how it goes. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Direct right there. Big coup de l'arc from Ponya. Really trying to pin Lo down. He doesn't want him to go anywhere else for obvious reasons. As soon as Lo tries to put some distance between him and his opponent, then things start to become very, very hard for him. Oh, here we go. Big overdrive right there from Ponya is going to take it. We are going on to the final round of the final match. This is going to be pretty... Uh, this is pretty hype, up, actually. Very nice stuff from both players. Okay, here we go. Hmm. Okay, here we go. Okay, very nice grab right there from Ponya and using like the uh, using setups to really try to open his open his opponent up. Very nice stuff from him. Okay, very nice understanding that Lo was trying to again fish with the two S. Fortunately, too late. The Roman castle was too late for Lo to cancel into a six P. 
Oh, here we go. Yeah, Low really taking some big risks right there to try to open Ponya up, but Ponya just being extremely patient. Very nice stuff from him. Okay, Fudra Dark. Here we go. And he takes it. Good stuff from. So you were caught off guard, I suppose. <laughs> uh. I, I just, uh, it's always the way. I have so many things I love out versus chip, and then uh, when it comes to fighting a chip in tournament, I just like forget everything. Yeah, <laughs> I, d I definitely get you on this one, yeah. And uh, I, I'm not at all like at ease when playing against chip players, so I definitely get you. Anyways, we are going to start the top eight right now. This first match is going to be Ponyo against Las Nero. Both opponents have uh, played in previous iterations of the Brojo Cup and both are extremely strong. Fasnero actually managed to take Zeej out. Zeej, the uh, second uh, the, the second place uh, of uh, the previous uh, Brojo Cup actually. So, yeah. yeah, so he's actually... Uh, yeah, Fasnero is not to be trifled with. So right now... And he's also having a lot of negative action. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so I'm just gonna... Ooh. Feel free to commentate um, Pokemon. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yes. Um, let me it's um, okay to get in the way. jump into the Discord video. No okay, worries, worries. here we go. Ooh, I'm here by. I'm going to get this name wrong. Bastioneru? Yeah, that's it. Exactly. <laughs> Bastioneru. That's that. Yeah. That's that. That's that. Nice, uh, okay, good uh, wall break. Ooh, and good back dash by Ponya son. And okay, nice RC. And this is going to do damage. Ooh, but just dropped at the end. Okay, clone up to your face. <gasps> and um, <laughs> the Hail Mary DP is. Uh, Slides to pieces by uh, Ponyo's Nagaruki. Okay, first uh, round to Ponyo. Okay, let's see. Red players. Okay. Last and early sign. Just taking a little bit more time in neutral. Just looking to take his uh, his turn, really. Exactly. Oh, nice use of projectile. Nice jump out by Ponyo. And okay, nice conversion nice also from Ponyo. I was able to yeah. juggle with Rasnero right there. I didn't even know you could juggle with it. Oh, very nice burst bait right there. Ah, no, and unfortunately he did the S version of the DP and it was just too too short to hit Rasnero uh, and wall break basically. And unfortunately Ponyo gets wall break himself right there. That's really quite unfortunate. Here we go. The, uh, the uh, how do you call it? I forgot. The, um, ah, the slide. The slide for the save. Oh, Scum Dipper? No, Scum Dipper. Oh Stun Dipper, Stun Dipper. Stun Dipper, right? I think it's Stun Dipper, right? Yeah, exactly. Stun Dipper for the win! Ooh, and last night I had the opportunity to win plenty of times right there. And another time again. Okay. Yeah, Ponya has to hold it. Oh! Ponya has to hold it. Oh! <laughs> and the P match for the win. Very nice stuff. <laughs> the 2P and the PP. <laughs> <laughs> to the PP to the PP. <laughs> exactly. Here we go. Very nice stuff from Ponya gets it. Oh, he did I would have I don't know if I would have had like the the the, um, the intelligence to use the FD right there not to get like chip killed by uh by uh by Lasino. Good stuff from Ponya really. Okay here we go, he got the direct line to the wall break into the uh soft knockdown. And back to neutral right there. Vasnero really taking his time, not being over. Oh, and the big Hail Mary there. This is going to do a lot of damage. Yeah. Raw overdrive right in your face. Okay, no walls to wall break though, but so well, it's decent damage, I guess. Well, okay, here we go to Sun Dipper for the save again, and this should do. Good stuff from Ponya. I had a long day. <laughs> okay, here we go on to the second <laughs> round. On to the second round with Vasnero. Uh, was able to find his mark right there and hit on the block but unfortunately yeah Ponya just was so nibble and himself find a way to open up last and, and uh, cause the burst okay very nice like neutral from Ponya not over committing but right there he got counter hit wow that confirmed man that check from Ponya just he saw right away that last was gonna use the Fukio to try to close the distance and right away he checked him you know good stuff from Ponya Okay, here we go. He had the reflex to use the overdrive. This is gonna kill. Good stuff from Ponyo. Yo, nice conversion. Exactly. I think we can all agree, like, high combos never seem to finish where you think they're gonna finish. <laughs> exactly. You always think, like, oh, I'm gonna fall. No, I'm not. Oh, I'm gonna fall now. No, I won't. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, Kai has, like, combos for days. Yeah, the juggle potential of the uh, food red arc is really, really crazy, actually. If you get hit raw by it, you can get, like, juggled three to four times again. And I'm pretty Sure, yeah, you can do it again like if you're in the corner. <laughs> like, seriously, it's so cra- Oh, and the burst Ooh, mate, this is gonna do a lot of damage! Wow. It's a Ponya's on fire, man. Damn, he definitely doesn't want to lose. Good stuff. 
Look, here we go. Will we see some sort of adaptation from last time? Big two. That yeah, was so. so <clears throat> okay, big start of the round with the two and five is right in your face. That's the determined to at least take this match right here. Okay, yeah, he's in a good positioning right there, really just trying to keep Ponya in the corner, but Ponya, just really cheeky, just running out of the corner, right straight to Rasneru's face. Okay, again, Ponya just not afraid of just running up straight to Rasneru and, and pressing button in his face. Okay, here we go. And I think Kai has actually a lot better range and his standing heavy. I think his standing normal dog actually, you know, doing quite a great job. Um, kind of. Ooh. Oh, never mind. <laughs> that was a pretty nice call out. You're spending way too much time in the air, mister. <laughs> that air grab was godlike. <laughs> but yeah, as you just said, like. Um, Kai's uh, like neutral buttons are definitely deceptive. They're a lot like they have a longer reach than what like you might think actually. So yeah, I definitely agree with it. And this damn food dark man, it always catches you by surprise. And by the time you recognize he does it, it's already unlocked and and, and basically you have to you have to hold. Damn, this was a wash, man. That was crazy, crazy good stuff damn. from uh, from Ponya. Definitely. Oh damn it, I'm I'm dumb. This isn't a wash. My bad. <laughs> No, no, I, I well. <laughs> Good stuff from Ponya. The way you did it so, in such a strong way, it's like... <laughs> Definitely. Use your 6p, that's in there, there's time. The 6p, oh my god! Exactly, you have to 6pm. Oh, I'm not gonna grab thing, free frames. <laughs> I'm wow, here we go. Finally, the burst, man. Yeah, that's new. really holding on to his burst. He doesn't want to be in a position where he... Uh, where he, he needs to hold on and to, to block too much, obviously. And here we go in very bad positioning right there. Yeah, and this is probably yeah. gonna do... Yeah, Ponya definitely f smelling blood right there. And oh no! No, that's unfortunate. And this, I hope he's not gonna lose. Oh, Rasenu dropping combos right there where he absolutely does not. Ah, that was unfortunate. Some plays for fighting edge chip and uh, I already saw on Twitter today posting some yeah. crazy high damage. Uh, a red R or quick RC combo, so hopefully I get to see some of those uh, in action today. Definitely. Uh, to see in this game. I mean, for sure. Like, Kageru-san is definitely a uh, a um, a lab rat, a training lab rat. So I'm pretty. I'm looking forward to what he's gonna come up with. Uh, Look at this. And uh, I see that Kageru-san has also chose the uh, last canyon for that. That's five percent damage buff that Soul gets playing on this stage. Oh no! And that is a very unfortunate burst. Into the RC, and this is gonna be death probably. No? Maybe a six eight chance with a kill? Maybe? I don't know. I, I am a Soul player. Oh, and he gets conversion, hard knock down. Here we go. Okay. Do 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 do. It's still in it. I can't read. Hit the gamma. We're gonna see a burst. I can't believe. Oh. Hard and your original oh. big vortex right there. Wow, this hurt a lot. Good I'm, stuff I'm from sure Kakadu. that was a, a DP and burst dust. <laughs> <up. laughs> it's, it's entirely possible. Mike and Leech go! Leech's own! <laughs> Exxon is very happy, yeah. Did you see, yeah, the character model of uh, of Viking looks really sick, man. It looks so good. Yo, I, it's exactly really it's making true, me man. so hyped right now. I'm I want to so try it out. Good. Okay, I don't we're... believe in the leak, Exxon. I'm sorry, buddy. Uh, it's not I really a leak. It's not so much a leak as it is a uh, cooperation that they had with like a, a restaurant somewhere in America, or I don't know where, but they actually showed the character model of, of Biken, and it, it seems yeah. legit, man. It really does look legit. He's standing in some like crazily sexy way, right? <laughs> <laughs> that ah, trailer right? leak. Oh, okay. Trailer leak images. Check Discord. Oh, okay, okay. Apparently she got leaked. Okay, that's cool. Damn, bro. Yeah, we're gonna look. I'm gonna commentate here. <laughs> <laughs> I think, oh, look at this. I mean, look at the Good dark. Still, we still have jack, jack crap, you know, bro. No, I'm, 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 I, I have no sympathy for, for the leak. I'm happy that, that the leak actually came, you know. I'm really happy. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Big 5 HS okay, counter okay. in your okay, feet. Okay, here we go. Oh, nice. Nice, uh, nice movement from Ru. Really trying to, like, not get caught by the by the far S from uh, Kakeru Togo and just right like this he's gonna get the overdrive into the wall rig heavy knockdown this is gonna do a lot of damage especially for Chip good stuff he was able to get the oh and very nice oh, oh that pickup man oh that was sick good stuff from Kakeru San he's, oh this is he's going to for the goal oh, combo okay very nice I thought he was gonna kill oh. 
Okay, okay, very nice. Oh, Rue, that was crazy. Rue, that was crazy. Good stuff. Good stuff from Rue there. That was pretty crazy. Oh, okay, here we go. The jumping. I wonder if he knew which side he was going to end up on. You wonder which what? Ah, yeah, yeah, I see. Rue knew which side he was going to end up after the super. Oh, nice catch in the backdash yeah. by Kakadu. Very nice recognition from Kakadu. Like, seriously, he saw that he was able to juggle with Rue and just resorted to, like, finishing his combo like this. And a very nice recognition. Like, young men uh, reactions right there. But here, as I say this, Kakadu <laughs> is getting schmixed. Like, there's no tomorrow. Okay, no burst from Rui. He seems quite confident in taking this one. Okay, finally, the burst is out. Let's see. Yeah, that was a high low, uh, high -low mix up. Yeah, I hate this mix up. I hate this mix up so much. <laughs> Okay, here we go. <laughs> bike and simp. I'm a bike and simp. <laughs> I'm so excited! Again, the command grab. Yeah, this has been killing Kakeru. Okay, here we go. Finally, the DP, he lets it rip. Something that kakeru san has definitely been more uh, willing to use recently is his DP. Like, he used to be so... He used to be so calm and never DPing on Wake Up, and now it's like, the total opposite, just look at this, like seriously, just as I say it. <laughs> yeah, but it's definitely... Ooh, is that gonna kill? Oh, this is gonna kill, this is gonna kill. Good stuff from Kagedo, Sam puts another one on the board. Yeah. Okay, go. I'm sorry, man, I, yeah. I need to monitor me. that's cool. Okay, here we go. Nice, nice fight here with Kakadu. It was pressure to time. Nice, oh, that's like a nice jump out of the corner, but back into the corner again. And look, yo, Kakadu's combos are beastly. And look at that broken wall, hard knock man up. Yo, get the one that punched the gut. <laughs> the soul special. <laughs> <laughs> the soul special indeed. And a nice hard read, but Kakadu is, uh, Trying to keep up with a good momentum burst. Nice block on the uh, alpha blade by Kakadu-san. Yo, he's not giving uh, Ru any room to breathe here. Okay, a bit of room, yo. DP. DP crossed up. Okay, Kakadu, Kakadu's out for blood. He's chased all. Okay, missed him, put by there. I'm gonna chase down. Nice 5k, special times. Oh, again, the high-low mix. Okay, I think Kakadu's gonna see that Ru's liking back. That's a nice catch by Ru. Here we go. It, it's, it's time to chip pressure time. Come on, grab. We're gonna see another command grab. No, nope. into Alpha Blade. Nice cross up, but misses the catch of the 2-2-F, I believe. Oh, counter here. Oh, and unlucky Kakaru hard baiting that burst. Yo, who's doing it? Yo, <laughs> that was sick. That, is sick. that was sick. Oh, no. Good stuff. From those are from those are from official websites. Someone just uncovered. Oh, okay, well that's good to know then. Well, I'm happy, but it's about freaking time, man. Seriously, we've been waiting so yeah. long, you know, for something, and finally, man. Okay, anyways, here we go. Moving on to the losers racket this time around is gonna be Zeej against Low. So both players extremely strong. Zeej has they they both have actually very very good uh, results in overall like Brojo Cups, always making it to a uh, top eight. So unfortunately, one of them is going to have to go home after this one. <clears throat> So here we go, oh, here we go, the, the attempt to snaps from below right there. Ah, uh, that far 2S, this definitely made an counter hit also. Very nice recognition from low and got the command grab, is gonna go with the world right there. This is potent, I don't think it's gonna kill though. Yeah, it's not gonna kill, yeah. Yeah, it's not gonna kill. It was so close though. It was pretty freaking close. Good stuff. From low. Definitely putting in the work with the uh, with the Axel Bomber right there. Here we go, Zeej, uh, ever so slightly like delaying his Roman cancel to catch uh, his opponent, like pressing a, a button, and therefore if he did, he can punish him accordingly. Oh, okay, here we go! Oh, that big six P in your face, yo slap! I'ma slap you! I'ma slap you! <laughs> I love the, the, the Nagori Yuki slap, man. It feels so painful, you know. I'ma slap you. He's gonna smoke the wall. Man, imagine having having buttons that can uh, round start water all man. Yeah, and man. Break. Couldn't be me. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh. Because he just really strong at go to. Top uh, tier, top tier privilege right there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we go. Right, very nice Roman cancel right there from Ro. He's putting a little bit of space between him and Zeej, but Zeej is really maneuvering so good, like in between the attempts of low to throw out like two S's and such. Very nice trade right there. It's not even a trade actually. 
Ziege takes the first map. So we're on a second step between uh, Zeej and Lo. Let's see how it goes. Let's see if uh, Lo can make some adaptations. Nice axle combo. Here we go. Got Zeej in the corner. Oh, but Clone is such a strong tool for uh, getting out of pressure because it does clash and gives uh, Zeej almost like a wall to go through. Okay, okay, but Lo is definitely laying under pressure this time. Trying to actually just uh, get a little bit more in your face. Look at this. Here we go. High lows, high lows. They just play being a little bit more patient, just trying to test the waters, but he went for a 6p and uh, Lo has made a good adaptation to uh, just catch his speed there. Okay, and Lo picked the first round. Okay, we got going game. Okay, nice. Nice pressure. Oh, nice Beyblade. He's working his way in. It's clone time. Okay, and Lo is now, again, he just mixed up his Beyblade. Oh, nice dodge with the command grab. Oh, and they tried to throw his own command grab as well. But this gets caught out here. Okay, nice pressure. Blow the gate is creeping up. Nice FB just to try to create a little bit more space. But yeah, 2k, 2d. And with this, we're gonna get a wall break. Positive bonus for roll. Okay, here we go. Ah, nice rainwater. Ah, just like that, roll. Rodi is like the rushing type. So yeah, low. They, they definitely have like two style of plays, which is very different. And it's kind of refreshing to see low being more of the, you know, like slowly but surely trying to like uh, force you to do something that is uh, beneficial for low. Uh, unlike Mori who just runs straight in your face and try to Giovanna you, you know? <laughs> it's actually very refreshing to see low like play the more like traditional type of a, of a, of a axle. Anyways, that being said, yeah, Lo is doing a very good job of like keeping Zeej like away and this time I just went straight and ran and grabbed him. Very nice stuff from Lo. he's gonna get the wall break. No hard knockdown though because he doesn't have any tension bar right there. Okay, here we go, Rainwater. Ah, yeah, he went for the snaps right there, but yeah, the Zeej was definitely like on point. But right oh, when he saw, he saw the Fuku and punished it accordingly. Very nice stuff from uh, from Lori right there. Oh, okay, here we go, yeah. You go, you go, you go. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. Well, yeah, uh, Lo was really just uh, doing a very good job of just determining when Zeej was really trying to just use Fukio and go straight uh, close to the end. Oh, oh, this is gonna be, yeah, the world. Oh, okay. Uh, that would have been so dope if he had actually, like, baited the burst as well. Good stuff from yeah, me. Yeah, what you said, it's about the winning, no man. You got the style on your opponent, man. Exactly. That's, 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 that's the man, there is like a the... there is an invisible bar that exists, and basically <laughs> it's the style bar. And the more you style on your opponent, the the more uh, like mental damage you inflict upon him. I am I am sure, and I am one hundred percent sure this this bar exists. If you style too much yeah, on your opponent yeah, yeah. and you successfully style on him, you know, like do some very s strong okay. combos and stuff, you're gonna like get mental damage on him. Good stuff from Lo. Speaking of which, oh, and here you go. He forces the burst. I don't agree with this burst. Oh, oh, that was sick. That was sick. That was so freaking was so sick, so man. That was so Damn. Crazy. Oh, this is so crazy. Low on point, man. Low, low, like having a statement right now. That was so sick what he did again. The, the I was gonna say the Roman castle, not the the, the what's called the um, command grab. Good stuff from Low. Damn, man. That was sick what he did. He must have overheard us. Like, yeah, he wasn't starting exactly. the last game. Exactly. Uh, he definitely knew. He knew that we were talking about him. Definitely. That was so sick. This is going to the highlight. And here we go again. The world. The confirms on the world have been out of this. World. Not not too. No pun intended. But that was crazy. And here we go. Just like this. Like. Here we go. Eto. Takani. Again, Takuma. Here we go. Okay, good thing they're letting rolling the. Okay, we're good. Whew, that was close. What did I? What? Here we go. Heaven or hell. Let's see how it goes. So how come on against Takarin? Takarin doesn't need any introduction. This dude is a killer Axel player, probably the best in Japan currently, if not in the world actually. So yeah, let's see how. He fares against, uh, well, actually, let's see how Hakuman fares against him. 
This is uh, probably... Uh, I think the matchup is more or less in favor of Geo. I, I do not put... The, do not quote me on this. But uh, yeah, definitely there are some uh, mechanics I, I'm fairly sure that uh, are very favorable for uh, Geo in this matchup. Very nice uh, DP right there from Hakuma who was able to get Takari in the corner. Very nice standing 5k. Unfortunately, he didn't do the um, follow-up 2-3-6. Uh, unfortunately. Oh, here we go. Very nice overhead into the Axel Bomber. Good stuff from Takarin right there. Takes one. Round. Good stuff. Mm. Oh, okay, very nice 6P right there from uh, from uh, from Hakuman. Good stuff. Okay, he's gonna get the Overdrive. 6-4 matchup versus actual. Okay, I see you, Hakuman. I'm watching. <laughs> And just like this, he takes it. Good stuff from Hakuman. Puts one round apiece. Good stuff. Let's see how this uh, this match will go. Oh, okay, very nice fart. Ah, here we go. Yeah, Takarin is definitely on point with his uh, his zoning right there. Ah, the big 2D, uh, uh, 2D counter hit. This is going to do a lot of damage. Axel Bomber into close S right there. Ah, and the... Oh, that... that. That snipe was well, well, from from Arxis regarding Viking. I'm actually happy. <laughs> okay, here we go on to the second match, and just like this. Okay, good stuff from Hakuman. Finally found his overthrow on uh, the, the opportunity on Takarin. Very nice uh, whiff punish right there from Hakuman, and yeah, Takarin just really baiting the jumps from Hakuman and punishing accordingly. Very nice to, uh, I suppose, the jumping S into the jumping. Oh, and the, oh, the big axle bomber. Damn, was that intentional? It definitely was intentional. Very nice start from Takanin. Gets it. Gets the first round of the second match. Oh, okay, here we go. You watched the video or the Discord just posting pics? Okay, here we go. Okay, Akuman has a lot of problems just getting in right there. Takarin doing a good job of like keeping him out. Finally found an opening right there, but still, yeah, Takarin just pushing him ever so slightly out of his, uh, out of his, uh, so, okay, this is gonna do a lot of damage. Good confirm from Hakuman. They didn't use the overdrive, unfortunately. Okay, very nice DP right there. Oh no, he couldn't juggle, he didn't juggle correctly. No, uh, Roman cancel right there. Ah, uh, when the air two are in favor of Takarin gets the counter hit. Oh, it still gets grabbed, even though he used a Roman Castle to make it safe. Very nice stuff from Hakuman. Takes one round, one round apiece. Who's gonna take the final round? We shall see. Okay, very nice. Confirm from Hakuman. Got Takarin in the corner, but Takarin is, is no stranger to like fighting for his life in the corner. Couldn't juggle right there, unfortunately. Takuman, Hakuman, okay, very nice 6P right there. Got the counter hit. He got the knockdown. Okay, here we go. The schmixes are there. The pressure is here. Ah, but Hakuman a little bit too angsty to try to open his opponent, his opponent up. Yeah, and like yeah, Takarin just maneuvering like around all of the normals of Hakuman, just like jumping when he needs it, when he uh, actually requires it. He's really very good at zoning. He's very good at defense in general. So yeah, it's two uh, two stuff that are really uh, a hassle when you're a Giovanna player and you're just really trying to open uh, your opponent up. Very nice stuff from ha from Takarin, he got the grab. Okay, here we go, er emergency burst from Hakuman, still gets entired right there from um, from Takarin. Ah, oh, and the confirm, even though there was a trade. Takarin with the combos and he confirms. Very nice stuff from him right there. Okay, here we go, rainwater right there. Ah, yeah, very nice bait of the burst. It's time to make it hurt. And again, Hakuman drops the combo. Why, why Hakuman? Ah, and deep grab. Good stuff from Takarin. They weren't fair to us. <laughs> okay, here we go. Potential match point right there. Very nice confirm from Takarin to the Axel Bomber. This is a huge amount of damage, even on Giovanna, actually. Oh, here we go. Ah, very nice dust. Not fully charged though. And here we go with the recognition from Takarin that Hakuman was not. Oh, okay, yeah, here we go. The onslaught is real. And yeah, Takarin just. Yeah, the. It, it was like crazy. Like, very, very good stuff. And upon saying this, we are going to see a uh, match between Rue against Law. <laughs> this is going to be a fun match. 
So Rue, the chip raw. player, Rue against Raw. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. Oh, here we go. And yeah, and this hero Lou not afraid of just like running towards his opponent and right in his in, in front of him. Ooh, the big burst bait right there. Rue was really, really good at opening him up right there. Okay, here we go. The schmixes are real and unfortunately couldn't connect the uh, the command grab. Okay, emergency burst from Lou. Nice recognition from Lou that uh, Rue was going for the overhead right there. Oh, that ooh, that confirm and then conversion as well. Okay, here we go. Finally, the overhead found its mark through open law up. Okay, here we go. Ah, unfortunately, he couldn't. Ah, no, too late for the six speed. And here we go. Rue takes it. Good stuff. Takes the first round. Let's see how the rest goes. Okay, very nice 2k into 2d right there from low. Puts a lot of distance between him and Rue. Ah. Okay, very nice. Ah, an emergency DP right there from Rue and no punish from low, unfortunately. This is extremely hard to commentate. Rue and Ro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so freaking I'm hard. Names, like, I'm the same name, it's so hard to comment it. Rue and Raw. <laughs> I feel like I'm, I'm learning a new language or something. Anyways. Okay, here we go. Big Alpha Blade. Oh, and again, Law has been so... Yeah, Law has been so good at determining that uh, the opponent is grabbable. You know, he's so good at determining this. Really good stuff. Ah, here we go. The big, the deep uh, jumping HS right there. Oh, and he goes again for the command grab, but yeah, Law just doesn't let himself get grabbed. It's crazy. Very nice block from Law right there. I would have gotten him, definitely. Here we go, Ashimoto. Um, and here we go. You are the other side of the corner. Oh, no. Very, very bad burst right there. It was a little bit too late, too far to get the golden burst right there. He really... Oh, that almost got caught. Nice and finally, out. yeah. Oh, and here we go. The burst also came from Law. Ooh, the two HS would have spelled death right there. Oh, the rainwater. Ooh. Okay, ah, uh, Blade a little bit too. Okay, oh, again, yeah. he drops a lot of combo right there. Oh, and the oh, no. Okay, he didn't have the tension bar. Oh, oh, he caught him still. <laughs> Good stuff from Rue. The emergency overdrive for the win. Good stuff. I love this uh, this uh, this game by the way, Bloody Roar. I freaking love this game. I love the concept that you change it to. Uh, who animal. was your main? Who was your main? Uh, I think well, I was young, but I think I really liked the mall. I think it was a chicken. Ah, the mall, Bakuriu. Bakuriu, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How about you? Yeah, Bakuri. I, I liked Sheena, but I played Shenlong, usually. Yeah, but I liked a lot Sheena. If, like, I was a little bit older and started to get interested in fighting games a little bit earlier, I definitely would have played Sheena. Like, I, I would have made her, definitely. Okay, Sheena is the leopard, by the way. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I, I kind of knew like. Ah, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Shenlong, <laughs> Shenlong is the is dark long basically. He's the tiger, the dark tiger. Ah, nice. Yeah. I, remember, I think the beetle was like OP, like the rhino beetle guy was like electric or something like that. He was he was brutal. <laughs> Sora said, "I played against Slow. He fucking smoked me." <laughs> but I think like Sora, it's yeah. It, I think like Axel versus Axel versus uh, Leo is like one of the worst matchup in the game. Like it's so unfavorable to uh, to Leo. So it's it's no, it's it's normal. I think, especially since Slow is a crazy Axel player, a crazy good Axel player. So. Okay, that being said, right there, we are one round apiece between Rue and Ro. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, whoa, very nice. Ah, damn, that freaking command grab. Oh, okay. And Rue just did it. Oh, oh, and he got caught. Yeah, and it's death. Yeah, this is death. Wow, the big confirm from Ro, man. Because I, I, I miss your Leo, yeah. I really, really do miss your Leo. Also, how come I have to spar against you for an evening? Can't play against you for shit. Yeah, definitely you should. You should try. You should play uh, against each I, other. I That'd be awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you want, you can do a first to ten at the end of the the, the tournament. If you're if we still have some time and you're stalled for it, or first to five or something. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. It's up to it. We'll see. Well, it depends on the tournament. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. Well. Definitely. Yeah, I just said this, but like, 
Yeah, seeing how things are going, we're probably going to be here up until like yeah, 11.30, so yeah, it, it might be uh, hard to do an exhibition match. But anyways, here we go, Load uh, takes time, uh, takes this opportunity to steal this match. <laughs> Wait, it's one round of peace, right? Yeah, it is. Nice one grab. Dead one of peace, one of peace. Yeah, nice alpha blade. Ooh, ah, uh, that nice big beta blade right there. Okay, very nice stuff from Ru. Uh, Okay, switches place with Ro right there. Ah, uh, uh, again, <laughs> command grab. That confirmed, man. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Yeah, sounds gonna kill by any means, but it's, yeah, very nice Axel Bumber right there. She really doesn't have any life, man. That's crazy. Oh, here we go. Alpha. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where, where, where did you go? And the worst part. The worst part is that Law actually. <laughs> Okay, let's... Okay, not that fancy. Okay, big yellow Roman cancer right there from Law. Switches places with Root thanks to the command grab. Okay, very nice uh, very nice decision making from Root to jump out of the corner and not use DDP. It would have been baited. Okay, here we go, big Alpha Blade. This is gonna do, yeah, some decent amount of damage, all things considered. Ah, uh, the big jump back into the um, the 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 HS right there from Ro. Ah, uh, tomate. I don't want to wait. Ah, uh, okay. Very nice confirm from Lou. He's gonna get it. Yeah, nice stuff from Lou. Okay, he's still not dead. Good stuff. Good to see that he's still alive. Nice, nice anti air by Ro. Okay, uh, Rose is still fine to, to close it out in this uh, set if he can. Wow. Oh, nice counter here. We're going to see a burst by the I, I wouldn't burst as well. I would save for the next uh, round. Oh, nice block from the Alpha Blade again. Yo! Rose is doing a great job of blocking uh, a lot of these mixes. Ah, but you can never block the 6P. Yeah, the I'm always going to know the 6 I'm going to put 6 m It's like a Dragon Ball 6 m You never block it. Eh? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> You want to block it, but you'll definitely never be able to. And good yeah, stuff yeah. from Lo right there, damn. Okay, and Lu is uh, going for overdrive on offense at the moment. Like, yo, here we go, 6M. <laughs> 6M again. <laughs> and I think it's gonna go for the, the uh, reset. Oh, and stays on same side. Same side, obviously. I'm going to show the side of meant to be on. <laughs> and like Rue, like playing out of his mind right there, really doing everything in his power, like not to let it like end. And right here, low. Oh, ah, the damage. That damage was ungodly and unfortunately oh. Rue. No, he gets hit by. No, he got hit by the. Yeah, this is dead. Yes. This is death. This was death. Oh, this exactly. Is this is bound to be an interesting matchup indeed. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Both opponents just jumping over each other. <laughs> you can go, bro. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I, I'm just trying to to solve this problem. Yeah, super cool. They didn't get to grab it when it was out. It's pretty cool. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. So Chigan's son is doing a great job at zoning out uh, Latinotu's son. At the moment, getting some good counter hits. Oh, but PPP from Chigan. Oh, nice air grab. Oh, nice clash. Okay. Oh, and yo, Chigan. Chigan's son. There's Chigan's son? It's uh, Takari, you can time. say. Takari. Yeah. Takari's son is doing a good job of uh, actually jumping out of these base blades. Oh, nice BRC to BRC. Yo, he's awake. How are you so awake? He is always <laughs> awake, man. This guy, this guy never sleeps. He's like a shark. Okay, here we go. Uh, the big jump again with the two HS, uh, with the jumping HS right there from Tarang doing the work, man. Here we go. Good stuff with the snail. Okay, Tarang really doing a good job of just like sniping La Snail out of the air right there. 
Doesn't help that, uh, of course, Nagori Yuki doesn't have a double jump or a uh, air dash. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> but, <laughs> Thank God, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, my freaking lord, please don't say that. Imagine, like, Ariel Fukio. <laughs> Imagine, Ariel Fukio. <laughs> that would be horrible, man. Aerial Beyblade. <laughs> oh my god. Exactly. Well, this is gonna do a ton of damage. This is gonna hurt so freaking much. Okay, he's gonna get the heavy knockdown. Thankfully, uh, this is not the end for Takarin, who does have attention bar. Okay, not afraid of pressing buttons on Wake Up, man. This is freaking crazy. I would have never been able to do this. Oh, and just gets chipped out by the uh, the Kansetsu, man. Wow, that hurt so much. It was a meaty, that's why. His coin was meaty, that's why. Although yeah. Actually, not just by Nihar, but uh, it's too early. Ah! Ah, by the clone, you mean? Yeah, yeah. I think he he sent the clone a little bit too early. And uh, therefore, mm. Takarin probably noticed it, and he just knew, okay, I can press button since the active frames are, 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 are done, basically. Yeah, I, I think this is what happened. Oh, okay, big 2H hits right there from Last Nero, but it was actually uh, just blocked by Takarin. Very nice stuff from him. Again, Takarin just really just preventing Last Nero from uh, moving in. And the reason being that right now Last Nero has two bars of blood. He can't afford to use Fukio to maneuver closer to Takarin. He has to jump until he gets like, yeah, he doesn't have a choice basically. This is probably, probably the... Uh, most difficult aspect of the uh, Axel against Nagoriyuki matchup. Uh, it's one of the few bad matchups of, uh, of Nagoriyuki, but this is how you're supposed to play it if you're Axel. Just wait for Nagoriyuki to have like two bars and then freaking snipe the hell out of him. And yeah, and, and then ship him to death basically. Very nice uh, stuff from Takahin. Uh, uh, from uh, to I didn't even know that last Nero had a RAM, uh, a pocket RAM. Let's see how it goes. Okay, here we go. We have a Takani, not uh, a stranger uh, of the uh, the RAM matchup, as you can see right there. Punish the overhead right away, man. Okay, things are looking pretty good for Takani right there, but pretty grim for last time we go. Let's see how it goes, but I can understand like the reason why he would want to change characters. And ah, this is, yeah, this is a perfect actual. Ah, that was that was very one sided. Mm. What you don't want to happen when you do a character change. Yeah. You're hoping you're gonna change the momentum a little bit, throw your opponent off a little bit. Yeah. And that, that first round perfect is definitely going to get into Russ Nelly's yeah. Um, head, yeah. Um, all he's gonna be thinking about now is man, I should have kept to that Nagaruki probably. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing that Lasano is gonna have to really convince himself is that it it doesn't mean that even if he kept uh uh, Nagoriyuki, he might have lost as well, even more badly, mm -hmm. even worse than what he's doing right now. And actually, he's actually pretty, pretty good right now. Yo, he's definitely doing a lot better than what he did when he was playing Nagoriyuki. So yeah, here you go, he got a, he got a round. He got a round, man. Oh, Ikinariram. <laughs> Ikinariram from Nemasu. <laughs> Ikinari donkey. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, here you go. And just like this, Takarin, like, just freaking appropriates. He takes the momentum back. Yeah, just keeps last night. Wow, and the big counter. This is going to do a lot of damage. Again, a big counter and into the wall break. Okay, he wanted, he wanted the uh, he wanted the burst right there. Definitely wanted the burst. Okay, here we go. Got his second sword. Yeah. Okay, here we go. The snipe. Oh, the snipe into the overdrive. I don't remember what it's called. The um, the the, the, the Exxon. Exxon, where are you? <laughs> Exxon is the encyclopedia. Oh, okay. No. Oh my God, that was so cheeky. Hello, where are you? I can't believe. Yeah. Why does it sound sound so dirty? I want to see my pocket the Exxon. He ran from my pocket. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, Exon, the way he says it is... Uh, the way he says it is very suggestive. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, Rasnero maneuvering out of the corner right there. Okay, here we go. The pressure is real big to S right there from Takarin. Good stuff. Uh, yeah, but unfortunately, you don't have your sword. You cannot throw it. Ah, and he gets grabbed out of the... Grab, I grab out of the uh, out of the air right there. Good stuff from last night. And Takani just fishing, fishing with the. Oh no, no. Oh, here we go. No, unfortunately, air to air, and it goes in favor of.
Takarin, good stuff from him, but still things are far from over. Oh, and the big twitch says sniper right there from Takarin. He do a lot of damage. He forces the bird. Ah, he didn't have reset that time. And again the twitch is for the for the for the entire right there. No, oh, okay, very cheeky attempt of uh Lassino to try to land and then immediately grab Takarin. Fortunately gets teched. Uh, oh, and here we go. He grabs the bag dash. Oh, he, nice. yeah. oh and the air, the air grab again. Damn, he's on point, man. In the perfect distance. She was on your fighting time. She was my, my wife. Yeah, she was my, my booty call. <laughs> yeah, she was my side, my side biatch. <laughs> yeah, that's what she was. crying, <laughs> but... Oh, and a big overhead right there. Ah, again gets grabbed by the 2HS man. She's not only my booty call, she's my everything. I'm, I'm talking about Giovanna, not not Biken. Of course. Definitely Giovanna, not Biken. Air Tatami confirmed, by the way, you're so dead. <laughs> yeah, 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 it was confirmed. Eh, okay. <laughs> Ah, uh, Gio, alright, yeah. Ah, uh, Gio, okay, yeah, Gio is my booty call. <laughs> That's what he's saying right now. <laughs> Poor Gio. She was used. Used and abused. Okay, big close oh, S entire right there. Ah, and again gets shipped by, gets hit by the 2HS from, from Takarin right there. Ah! Okay, no snail. Oh, and very nice confirm right there. Ah! <laughs> Takarin, not afraid to just jump, just running. He, he I see like, uh, Shades of Moryu in Takarin's gameplay recently. I really see them, man. <laughs> you have to play Biken, by the way. So you're gonna have to still play Joe for like at least another two months. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Okay, here we go. So, moving on to the loser semifinal is gonna be Lol against Takarin. So, mirror match, indeed. So, here we go. This is gonna be very awkward to commentate. <laughs> We got Black Axel again. This, probably the, the this is probably the first uh, Axel mirror I've uh, seen in my life, actually. I've commentated at least. Okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah, this, this is a battle of the, the zoning right there. This is this this is this, is, this seems such a strange matchup. <laughs> I don't know. I don't yeah. it doesn't feel like guilty gear right there. <laughs> it's so strange. <laughs> okay, here we go. The big axel bomber from Takani is gonna take it definitely. Ichiban bacon enjoyer in the world. <laughs> Yeah, man, I'm even more, I'm, I'm extra salty, no, no pun intended, that they had the whole, like, bacon announcement before, like, Canada uh. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? That was cringe. <laughs> <laughs> the bacon, man. Um, okay, here we go, so, so yeah, I, Law fighting, trying uh, to fight his way out of the corner right there. Ah, uh, break, break, break. Got to sleep at 2.38. Uh, Hey Google, ah. shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry, my 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 Google just like went crazy right now. <laughs> you really not friendly to your neighbors? <laughs> oh no no no, it's not my neighbor. It's it's my Google. It's Google. It's not my neighbor. Don't worry. I would never speak like this to my neighbor. <laughs> I have a I have a <laughs> I have a what's it called? I have a uh, Google Nest. And uh, basically, sometimes when I speak, and sometimes he interprets my voice as if I say the magic word to call him, and he just did it right now. So that's the reason why I told him to shut up. <laughs> it's not my neighbor, not by any, not, not by any means. Okay, here we go. That um, technically, oh, low, actually, bring it back, man. Here we go. Okay. Oh, again, goes for the low. Ah, this time around, Takani ah goes for the snail, makes it safe by using the Roman Castle. He uses the Whoa. command grab and just like this, he grabs him and takes the win. Good stuff from Takarian. As expected. Oh, it's also great for fighting like other players, I think. Other yeah. Characters. I see exactly what you mean. Backboard, like, what is going on? Exactly. I see what you mean. Here we go. Very nice. Ah, that entire is from Takarian. The conversion, man. He immediately forces the burst uh, from low right there. And yeah, Takarian overall just doing a better job at the. Uh, uh, not only uh, conditioning his opponent to like jump at a specific spot, but also converting every single opportunities that he has. Like it's really, really crazy. It's very impressive, actually. Very nice whiff punish. If if like 
he manages to whip punish Axel. Like this is like something <laughs> that's pretty crazy if you think about it. Okay, ah, here we go. No, but yeah, Lo is definitely not out of the loop yet. He hasn't said his last words yet. And yet again, he gets, yeah, he gets hit by the, um, I think this is the jumping S, if I'm correct. Oh, here we go, jumping L for the, for jumping P, I'm sorry, not L. Jumping P for the air to air right there. Ah, that anti-air man, he uses the fight, the standing P so efficiently to knock Takarin out of the, uh, out of the air. Again, you see, it's so crazy, so consistent out of it. His reaction time is so crazy. Oh, and the big 2D right there. Two, not 2D, 2, 2 S on counter hit. Ah, uh, and Lo also almost had the conversion. Ah, here you go. Very Ooh. nice stuff, man. Damn, on point, on point. Lo is on point this time around. Good stuff. Okay, Lo, Lo is definitely not out of the loop. Here we go, the ring in water. On counter hit. <laughs> I was gonna say rainfall again. <laughs> is, it, is it not rainfall? It's definitely rainwater. <laughs> is it? Oh, damn. Ah, oh, really? Oh no. Which one is it? <laughs> I think it's rainwater. I hope it's rainwater. Here we go, and just like this, Low takes it actually. Good stuff. Yeah, I know, right? Like, yeah, rainwater. What, what the hell is rainwater anyway? Rain is water, so what, what is rainwater? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Anyways, that being said, here we go. Takarin just, you know, jumping on his opponent and going for the grab. He's got Low in the corner, he got the big twist counter hit right there. Ah! Uh, here we go, rainwater. <laughs> <laughs> okay, he got the command grab. Very nice stuff from Lo. He's gonna use the. Uh, oh, he's gonna use the world. Axel Bumper. Ah, here we go. Yeah, both opponents really just resetting the neutral right there. But the funny thing about Axel is that he can hit you from the other side of the stage, so there's no such thing as resetting the neutral with him. Oh, here we go. Ah. Oh, nice bouncer. Yo. That was sick, bouncer. man. That was sick. Good that stuff from Takari. Good. Sick combo right there. Takari definitely like uh <laughs> put it, like doing some pretty crazy uh combo conversions right there. No, oh, and the big close S entire right there from Takari forces the uh forces the burst from Takari. <laughs> oh. Here we go overhead on your face. Oh, okay, the 2HS fails to hit hit smart this time around. Ah, here we go, the big snail on counter hit. This is gonna do a lot of damage. Okay, no on the ground. Continuation. Ah. Okay, rope. Low definitely trying to take things a little bit slower this time around. He's in the lead. He definitely does not want to lose this round. Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, he got the tension out. Okay, Takarin again going for the command grab. Oh, and the confer. No, was that a, was that that wasn't a combo though? It wasn't a combo, but still, it's okay. It's it's still good. It wasn't a combo. Yeah. So if Takarin had blocked, he wouldn't have died right there. Okay, but still, good stuff from Low staying alive right there. Ah. ah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here we go. Lo, Lo actually looking a lot better right now. Like actually doing stuff that Takarin was doing to him, which is entering with the uh, the five P right there. Oh, okay, very nice up too. He's starting to use the two HS as well. Big snail. Oh, and doesn't even give the opportunity. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, Takarin definitely not afraid of just running close to Law and. Either grabbing him or I can definitely see like a remnant of uh, of Moriyu and Takarin's play. I think he's definitely been influenced by him. No, oh, here we go. Finally, Law using the command grab this summer. He hasn't been using it at all, and uh, definitely, uh, um, definitely a good change of pace. No, oh, and the big 2S counter hit right there forces the burst. Okay. Just like this, Lua is on game point right there. This is crazy. This is the first time I see Takarin actually losing a Axel Mirror. Well, this is probably the first Axel Mirror I've seen. I, I saw him play against Moriu, actually. I did see him play against Moriu. 
Yo. And though the damage, man. That damage, though. Damn. Did you see that? That was crazy. This is like the most damaging combo I've ever seen Axel do. Yeah, most definitely. I think like three or four Axel bombers in there as well. Definitely. But, uh, what I is, uh, ooh, it's, it's kind of ooh, this is gonna hurt. Well, okay, but... yeah. Takanin definitely staying alive right there, not seeing, yeah. Okay, yeah, the pressure is endless right there. Oh, and here we go, and get the, the oh, tr yeah, favorable oh, trade okay. with the conversion right after. Good stuff from Takanin still on match point, though. Okay, Flo plays his card right. He is about to get burst, whereas Takarin is definitely far from getting it. If Lo manages to open Takarin, yeah, yeah, and keep his burst, then it's probably gonna be a checkmate si situation. A big 2S, I recommend you not to use the burst right now. Oh, yeah, good stuff. Good uh, patience from Lo, definitely seeing that. Okay, okay, here we go. Ah, and Lo, Lo still holding on to his burst. Yeah, oh. Oh. oh no, and he let it rip. Oh, he let it rip. No. Oh, this is so unfortunate. Yeah, why not? Oh, no, no. It's a dust. I think there's invincibility frame when you use the um the, the world. I think I'm pretty sure it, uh, it is. Nice counter. Oh, the early button. I couldn't um... Okay, Rodol is not too shaken from that uh, that loss, so he's still pretty composed. He's looking good. Uh, and it's over. Ooh, Ooh, very nice follow up to the. Ooh, very nice Ooh. stuff. He catches the back dash right there. Yeah, but Takani is still very well aware that ah, it's not over till it's over. Okay, very nice 2HS right there. Uh, Takalin oh, doesn't yeah. take the bait. Oh, and still open him up. Very nice stuff. Yeah, he released the... Uh, and right, just like this, we are again on match point. This is the second time. Is Lo going to be able to seal the deal? Bad start of the round right there. But still... Okay, here we go, Lo. Yeah, definitely pacing himself a lot more right now. Definitely wants it. He definitely wants to prove that he is the better uh, Axel Japanese player. Err! Oh, that was a very close command grab right there from Takani. Oh, very nice punish right there from Lo. Okay, he gets the 2S counter hit. He's gonna get the, the world. Okay, Axel Bomber keeping things really, really simple. And he gets the full combo and finishes it. That was crazy. And so it will be Kakeru san against Ponya san. Ponya san has been playing crazy good this time around. Kakeru san plays always good. But Ponyasan, this time specifically, <laughs> he made a faultless run right up until uh, the winner's uh, final, which is a first for him. So yeah, I'm, I'm definitely glad to see all of the improvements he's uh, he's, he's uh, applied to his gameplay and managed to uh, yeah to reach the winner's final. Okay, here we go. Early run into grab as it is the mm. signature move from <laughs> from Kai players. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a big 5HS counter hit right there. This is going to do a lot of damage. Okay, very nice stuff from Ponya. And just like this, he gets the, the wall break into a soft knockdown. Nevertheless, oh, there we go. Direct low. Oh, and he gets the stun the press. A whiff punish on the 6HS from Kakiru san. Good stuff. Nice. Nice play on the uh, BT. Okay, uh, it's. Ooh, I got this just missing the uh, second 5k. Nice jump in. You can't stun it. And the damage. Nice reset. Into that there. Ooh. Yep. Up. One up grab. <laughs> of course, of course. Why not? <laughs> what else? <laughs> Oh damn, okay, goes for the freaking... Oh damn, Ponya going for the install. This is something that we don't see a lot and I'm very, very... Oh, look at the, the big fireball right there. Oh, and unfortunately he gets uh, hit by the 2S from Kakeru-san. And uh, on counter hit, by the way, so that definitely did a lot of damage. Here we go. Rare footage of Akai actually using... Yeah, the install. Yeah, I know, right? It's crazy. Okay, here we go. Oh, and a big oh, whiff to Dragon that. Punch right there from Ponya. Punish accordingly with Kabaikaikanutsan. Look at the no. damage, man. He didn't even get the wall break right after. 
Okay, here we go. The stun dip right there. The, chooses not to use the tension to, um, well, to extend the combo. Again, stun dip right there doing the work and... Okay, he recognized that it didn't hit and immediately used the Roman Cancel to make it safe. Okay, this should do actually. Oh, actually not. The Kaiyu Sun put some gap in. Oh, and just run up crap. <laughs> Ponya, the, the, the real. Oh, oh my god, and right back at you. This was actually using again the Dragon Install. It's so hype when uh, Kai uses it. Okay, here we go. Big Bandit Bringer right there. On counter hit. Unfortunately, Ponya had his burst, he could uh, stop the conversion, which would have been huge if he had let Kagusan continue it. Okay, big, uh, yeah, there you go, Ponya san doing a big job of escorting Kagusan in the corner. Oh, very big uh, jump back from Kagusan ends up, oh, and the whiff dragon punch right there from Kagusan. what was that? Ah! Okay, Ponya san really just like doing a good job of adjusting his face to Kagusan's and not Letting, yeah, Takeru Sun like uh, lead the uh, onslaught. Good stuff from uh, from Ponya. <laughs> yeah, no worries. Uh, oh, and this time around Ponya, yeah, Ponya wasn't able to grab his opponent. Okay, here we go. Fudra like my God, is the Fudra like Matsuri right there? Ah. Yo, this is getting scrambly. <laughs> yeah, this is very. This is really being scrambled. Because this time, yeah, doing a good job. He did a good job of maneuvering uh, before, but yeah, this is yeah. This was a quick work. Okay, on to the next round. Well, the next match. We're on to the third match actually. Okay, big uh, punish on the stun dipper right there, which was unblocked. And wow, yeah, definitely. Uh, Kakeus, I'm definitely on point on his punish of the DP right there. Okay, no, oh, big, oh, little punish on the uh, 5 HS, but unfortunately, yeah, the spacing yeah. is really not on point regarding the Stun Dipper right there for Ponya. He gets punished a lot. Yeah, didn't kill. Oh, and the Bandit Revolver for the win. <laughs> Knee to the face, man. There you go. Oh, okay. Nice 6 spirit right there from Ponya. Oh, and the big counter hit right there into the Food Road Arc. Just like this, he brought like Kagusan at the other side of the, the the stage of the level. Oh, here we go! Big volcanic viper right there. Ah, and the oh the Fafnir. He caught the back dash. This is gonna do a lot of damage. God, look at the damage, man! Wow, so crazy. Okay, he was trying to prob potentially like oh and just run up and grab the statement, man. I'm <laughs> Oh, and a big 6 HS counter hit right there. This is gonna be a full punish. Ah, and the full punish. I didn't believe in the uh, the last uh, 5k right there, unfortunately. That was definitely momentum burst right there. Oh, definitely, <laughs> definitely. Ah, yeah. Here we go, Ponya. Oh, okay, here we go. Finally pushes the burst. Okay, this is gonna be a full punish, but potentially, yeah. There we go. Uses the overdrive. To get the hard knockdown. Okay, no DP from Kokyo-san. Instead, resorts to backdashing. And this is gonna do very nice stuff from Ponya. Gets the, uh, the, the round. Okay, Kokyo-san being very, very respectful right there, not DPing. Wow, and Ponya gets hit by a far S right there, right into the face, into counter head. Again, another one. Very nice conversion. Okay, he doesn't. He decides not to use the tension to extend his combo. Ah, and very nice whiff punish from Ponya right there. Catches the, uh, the Bandit Bringer on its way down. Oh, very nice stuff. Oh, and my god, this is the second time that Kakuru-san does this, man. He's not afraid, man. And here we go. This is, yeah, the right, the lightning into the wall breaking do death. Yeah, good stuff from Ponya. It's another one on the board. And here we go. set point, actually. Let's see how it goes. Oh, okay. Oh, that was a punish. Okay. He actually punished the direct clarity right there. Okay, very nice recognition from Kakuzuko san was like seconds away from, uh, was frames away from uh, punishing the uh, the food red arc. Oh, here you go. For Sunday Pretty Simer uh, around Ponya definitely puts a point at um, spacing his. Um, uh, his uh, stun dipper a lot better than what he did up until now. Okay, here we go. The Samurai Kakuto-san didn't believe in his 5k to extend the combo. 
Oh, here we go. Big 5 HS right there. Wow, oh, very nice punish from Ponyasan on the way down right there. Oh, a big Bandit Breaker that's going to be converted. And yes, here we go. Onto the match point right there. Ponya needs to win. Uh, definitely needs to win the following two rounds. Ah, uh, very nice stuff. Yeah, smell like Kakuru-san was getting angsty to try to get in. Big counter hit on the on the forest right there from Kakuru-san, but Ponya responds in. Well, well, responds accordingly. Very nice. Uh, I was gonna say stutter, but it doesn't mean anything. Stagger from Ponya right there. Oh, and calls out the uh, oh, nice. Fafnir right, right there again. The six speed to the counter hit into the dust. Good stuff from Ponyo. <laughs> okay, a big six HS right there to keep Ponyo san on the ground. Ponyo san is doing a great job actually catching Kakaru. I mean, 2K or 2D, I'm not sure which one it is, but he's doing a really, really good job of uh, catching up yeah. Kakaru san's angles here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, no. and the confirm right there is gonna get the right the lighting into the the wall break hard knockdown. How is Kakiru Togo gonna? Okay, no DP, just backdash. I think that was the the preferable. Oh, and the big counter hit right there, yeah. and no grab on the on the wake up. No punish though. Okay, but this is the absolute last. Oh. Yeah. Oh, this is this done. this is gonna do? Kakiru san takes it yeah. very very clutchingly right. I don't know why I'm thinking about European news and just popped into my mind. Uh, <laughs> European news? <laughs> what happened in European news. I guess it's because I'm talking to a Frenchman. Ah. Uh, was it the Italian Senate? With the Final ah, Fantasy with the Tifa leaks? incident. Yeah, <laughs> the Tifa incident. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this was pretty crazy. Poor Tifa. She got pounded right in Poor front Tifa. of politicians. She got pounded in front of the Senate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn it. I got the wrong names, actually. It's, yeah. It's actually okay. low on the left. Nice guys, but Ponya applying the pressure. A good turn by the way, as we've seen do earlier in this uh, tournament. Oh, but Ponya is not afraid to run up no matter where you are, no matter how you're doing. In, I am running at you. <laughs> <laughs> so as you always. close by uh, Axel. So. Oh, a nice PR3, keeping it safe by the way. And um, so hopefully going to be a good count hit for Ponya. Good patience on defense. Nice boot art, catching him in the air. And into Super. Yeah. I wonder if this Super does more damage than Ride the Lightning, I wonder. I think Ride the Lightning does more. But uh, yeah, I don't I don't really yeah, know why people hit. sometimes decide to do uh, the, the second one instead of Ride the Lightning. I don't really know what, what is the hmm. thought process behind it. But yeah, but they just do it, so I'm not I, I'm not a Kai player, so I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, it was big to do, it. I want you to do some dust, dust with the uh, quick research. I wonder if it affects some space to find out. Oh, and the big Kruger Dork right Kruger there. Chart. Oh, and yeah, roll really, really on point with his entires right there. Switches places with uh, with Ponya. Oh, and Ponya just does the Kruger Dork right there. This is going to do a lot of damage. Oh, here we go. He went for the dust, but Lo was able to block it. Here we go. Nice stagger from Ponya. He's gonna get a full combo, and just like this, he stakes it. Good stuff from Ponya. Well, good to do more, you know. Okay, and here we go. Start of the round right there. Lo san just calling out the jump from Ponya san by using the 2HS. Very nice 2K into 2D right there. Gets the knockdown and pushes Ponya in the corner. Okay, Lo san really doing a good job of keeping uh, Ponya san out. Here we go snail into Roman cancel into full combo. Still brings Ponya back. Ah. Oh, okay, here we go. Ponya really, really, really having a hard time trying to get in. Even though he had such a good first match right there, you can see the adjustments from Roro. He's gonna get the underground into the win for the first round. Good stuff from Ro Low. Mm. Good jump back. S right there from Low. Okay, forces the burst from Ponya. Very nice snipe right there of the two hits to go underneath the projectile and hit uh, Ponya with a counter hit right there. Okay, Ponya is really staying with his last legs right there. If he gets hit, yeah, it's definitely going to spell ah. death right there. Good stuff from Lol. Like, other ways and means to get in. Okay, just 
<laughs> okay, just proceeds to just run straight close to Law and Law just, you know, just pressing button as he is at full force. Here we go, very nice punish right there from Law. Oh, gives big stunage right there. Oh, okay, gets the counter hit. Unfortunately, Low had a burst. Oh, okay, very nice, stun big, good stun dipper right there. Manages to cancel into the room and cancel in order to get very, very good and healthy damage. If there is such a thing as healthy damage. And here we go. Uh, okay, wow, that, that was uh, strange. I think he actually went for a throw, but ended up like pressing the stick in a strange direction. And, and oh, and Ponya just doesn't... Uh, I think he probably thought that Lol still had a burst or something. That's why he didn't continue as a... Okay, Snail right there, not punished. Well, no punish actually, because too far. Unfortunately, Law right there on the verge of actually stealing it. Right there. Okay, very nice IAD right there from... Uh, from, uh, from Ponya. Miss input, yeah, definitely miss input. Okay, right there, he uses the aerial uh, thunderish move to try to delay his fall down. Okay, here we go. Low in very good position to try to zone Ponya. Okay, very nice 6 speed right there into the Fudra Dark. And just to place low in the corner. Very nice Fudra Dark to go over the snail, the, the, the rainwater. Okay, and you can see low just getting casually running out of the... Out of the... Out of the corner right there. That was pretty funny. Taking me back to my people for their lives. I forgot the meme. My people need me, that's the one. Ah, yeah, my people need me. Running out of the corner like Superman. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Okay, again, IAD right there from Ponya. Definitely looking better than uh, in the previous round. Causes the burst. Very nice DP right there. No, unfortunately, he didn't believe in his uh, in his uh, food or dark. Okay, he got uh, law electrified, but not for long. Okay, very nice trade right there. Sim still manages to keep law in the corner. Very nice. Ah, oh, the food or like so close, but so far. Couldn't manage to hit him. Ah, okay, here we go. Low in very prone position to harass. Yeah, harass Ponya. Okay, yeah, he definitely wanted to cause the, the burst right there. Oh, oh no, too far. Oh, damn, okay, here we go. Ah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if I agree. Uh, hmm. I think, uh... Oh, wow, well, oh. Back to, ah, yeah. to basically uh, to to block everything and anything that came his way. E yeah, effectively like uh, making all of the use of the tension from Ponya completely ineffective. Okay, here we go. Ponya, very nice six P right there. Managed to bring low any corner, but unfortunately, low right there uses a gold burst of his own. Gets two bar of tension. This is gonna do some uh, pretty decent damage. Oh, and the burst baited right there. Know. This is gonna, yeah, this is gonna be big. Okay, very nice rainwater right there. Yay! Push. Yay! <laughs> I, love, I love Axel's like voice yeah. line. Yeah. Oh boy, nah. <laughs> I love it when he says it. I really like it. Okay, very nice. Uh, very nice sequence right there. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Yay! Oh, la, 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 la. <laughs> I like it when he does this. When you wall break him. <laughs> Yeah, that's was so fun. Like his his voice acting is so fun. I really like him. No, oh, and here we go. The throw loops yeah. from Ponya. Definitely not seeing. Oh no! And went for another one. It would actually have connected if he elated just a tatty bit. Oh, and here we go. You want to get thrown? I'm gonna throw you too. Ooh, and a very bad DP right there to in order to to uh to catch the snail. But yeah, this is gonna be it. Yeah, good stuff from nice. Law oh, manages to seal the deal right there with the Axel player. And that being said, we are moving on to the grand final with Kakiro Togo-san on winner's side against Law in loser's side. Really looking forward to it. Let's see how it goes. Mm. Oh, okay, here we go. Kakiro-san successfully putting Law in the corner right there. Kakiru-san definitely smelling blood right there. Ah! Uh, no! 
Kakuri-san really playing good also. We, we haven't spoken about Kakuri-san that much actually, but Kakuri-san also playing really, really well these days. Like, he definitely, he eliminated player in like past iterations, so definitely... Oh my lord! Oh my lord! Good stuff from Kakuri-san. Good stuff. That was very, very crazy. Ah, uh, but unfortunately, man, it doesn't manage to to get to win it. Unfortunately, but it's okay. It's not over. Oh, he is, he is. You see, you see him posting like various videos of him attempting to uh, to uh, to land the cemetery mob uh, during his online sessions, and it's just so fun because even the ones that he doesn't manage to land, he still posts them. You know, so it's really really humble uh, player, very uh, down to earth player as well. Not over his head, even though he's he he has the means to be, you know. But yeah, very 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 uh, good player. I think this is actually his first fighting game, also, if I'm not mistaken. I think I'm not gonna don't quote me on it, but uh, I think it is. <laughs> very nice low mix up from Kakiri. Twenty twenty one or zero? What year is it? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Okay, good stuff from Kakiri Sun right there. Ah. Oh, okay, gonna get the the what? Oh, at first I couldn't get the follow up, but it's still okay. He has a very yeah. This is gonna do. Yeah, bye bye. You're dead. Yeah. <laughs> Good yeah, stuff from Takeda-san. Yeah, boom. You're dead. Well, you did. You did. Megatron, I think at the moment. <laughs> <He's final. laughs> definitely, man. Definitely, definitely. Okay, Rick. Takeda-san not in the best of position, but just to say this, manages to find his way in. Okay, Losan. Oh my god, that was a punish also. Good stuff from Kakiru-san. Okay, no snail right there. Very nice 2 HS right there. Ooh. High enough in the air so that um, Lo can uh, not get hit by the burst. Very fortunate for Lo. Unfortunate for Kakiru-san. Okay, here we go. He goes for the command grab and oh my god, Kakiru-san just, just running, man. Running during his Kai. <laughs> his best Kai impression. Okay. Losan not afraid of pressing a button and just like this 2S as he's seeing that Kagiru-san is definitely too eager to get in and run up and grab and do stuff like this. So yeah, Losan definitely putting a stop on this. Okay, very nice jumping S right there from Lo. Okay, big bandit bringer, it's not counter hit so no follow up on it. Okay, no snail, oh here you go, snail counter hit, no too far for a conversion though. And just like this, Kakiru-san gets a 4S counter hit into a full conversion, wall-breaking combo. Look at the damage, man. Damn. It's crazy. And Kakiru-san just going for the grab again. <laughs> Ooh, okay. ah, that was the good idea to Roman cancel right there, but the the Bandit Bringer hit so low that it was effectively still Kakiru-san's turn once uh, both opponents were back in neutral. So yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, and Lo, okay, just going for grabs of his own. Actually, well, just running towards Kagyu-san. Wow, did good stuff, yeah. Okay, here we go, Snail. Roman cancel Snail right there. This is gonna be a wall break. Very big damage of his own. Look at this, man. This stuff from Lo. Okay, here we go, yeah. Kagyu-san cannot get hit anymore. Uh, no, and yeah, Lo uh, still not, yeah, definitely not over Oh, okay, here we go. Ah, big bandit breaker right there. Oh, ah, but too late for the punish from Lo. And Kakuya san uses this opportunity to just wake up and DP, not wake up, to just, just hit him with a DP right there. Big bandit breaker, this is gonna be a full punish, yeah. That was counter hit right there. And here you go, Bandit, not Bandit, Tyrant Rave. God, oh my lord. <laughs> Look at the damage, man. And here you go, Wild Pro for the win. Good stuff from Takeo-san. Yeah, you can feel that Takeo-san definitely wants it. He definitely needs it. He wants to, to win the Brojo Cup, man. <laughs> After all this time, always. <laughs> ah! Hey, he's definitely deserving of it. He, his play these days is phenomenal, and he's doing a really great job. He's done a really great job with both performance so far. Ooh. 
Oh. No. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay, goes for the dust right there. Not afraid to let it rip, man. And this is the new Kakiru-san. This is Kakiru-san mm -hmm. 2.0, man. Like, he's not afraid of letting the DP rip anymore. <laughs> no, and just runs. But yeah, yeah, you have to be careful. Yeah, Lua is definitely... He's, oh, no way. I oh, wait, no, he has a tension bar. Oh, what? Oh, okay, you, okay, you can get... You can get... Yeah, but he still had a tension bar. It was chip, and he had a tension bar just to make it safe in case. So it was checkmate right there, but nice try from Kakiru so, so. I didn't even know you could chip it though. No, but I think like Kakiru didn't have any yeah, life anymore. Was... You can tank uh, uh, hits with the uh, the cemetery uh, mob, but you if you don't have life anymore, then you just die. I think that's what happened basically. Very nice conversion. Is he gonna get the kill? He's gonna get the kill. Good stuff from Kakiru-san. Just responds in order to prevent Kakiru-san from taking it. Let's check it out. Okay, start of the round with a 6 HS whiffed, unfortunately, for Kagiru-san. <clears throat> oh, there we go, yeah, you can see Lo fishing with D2S right there. Yeah, he definitely sees that Kagiru-san is not committing to jumping anymore. But yeah, just switching, man. Ah, Lo is so good at switching. Yeah, you see, like, guarding the air, guarding the ground. So good and efficient at doing it. Here we go, big Axel Bomber right there. Is he gonna get the wall break? Oh. Uh, Wow, perfect statement right there. And here we go, yeah, again, Losan just maintaining Kagusan out of his range, like out of, out of, uh... Ah, yeah. And Kagusan, no, oh, the, the, oh my... The defense of low is like crazy, man. Yeah. Not getting open at all, man. Oh, yeah, here we go. Bad DP right there. Oh, and Kagesa just, just running from the other side of the freaking... Oh, okay, he went for a wild throw. Fortunately, got a kid. And this is gonna do. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be done. Ah. Okay, man. Yeah. It did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said it really depends on Kagesa how he's able to uh, adjust. Oh, boom! Oh, the unfortunate Vorchek right there went under low in order and switched place with him. Here we go, the Doka. Ah, Bandit Bringer right there. Oh, a big Bandit Bringer right there. Ah, unfortunately, yeah. Went a little bit too far. Yeah, really low, making it. Oh my god, so good at keeping Kakirisan out. Yeah, Kagusan really has problems like finding his. Okay, we go. oh, unfortunate. He uses. Yeah, low using the 2K to low profile the uh, follow up of the bandit revolver right there. Oh, and a big counter hit right there from low. Looking very good and on the verge of resetting everything right there. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, Kagusan just like hitting his head against a wall right there, yeah. The wall that is like Lo's like zoning, and again Lo like finding, realizing that he can grab uh, Kakiru-san on his way down from a, an aerial attack right there. Big bended breaker right there. Okay, oh, and here it is. Oh, but just like this, it's not good. Oh, and the miss input right there. This was definitely a miss input. Oh, and the snail counter hit right there again. Again, Kakiru-san gets hit by this, and just oh, like yeah. this, we have low managed to bring uh, Kakiru-san back in the losers. So let's see how, if Kakiru-san is going to be able to... Ah, and here we go. Unfortunately, the startup of the Bandit Bringer gets hit by the 2S of low. Again, the 2S right there. This is pretty hype. Oh, Ooh, very nice conversion from, uh, from Kakiru-san. Okay, I'm afraid from actually committing to an entire... And here we go, we have the Bloody War, BGM right there, the Evil Laboratory, I love this freaking song. <laughs> it's not a song, it's a BGM. Okay, anyway, here we go. <laughs> Perfectly fitting. Oh, here we go, Snail Whiffed, not punished by Kakiru-san. Nice combo. Very nice combo from Kakiru-san against the conversion. Yamada! Oh, and here we go. This time around, the Bandit Revolver, the follow-up, finds its mark and counter-hit. Okay, just 
lands and proceeds to doing a dust right there. That was pretty hype. Oh, oh my god, this, the run grab, man. This guy is a Kai player. <laughs> Kai players. Kai players. Exactly. Kill the game players. Exactly. Okay, here we go. Very nice counter hit. Good counter hit right there from Kakusan. Unfortunately, drops the conversion. Oh, okay, and both games, they just, they, they run right next to each other and just go ahead and try to grab each other. It's so, so strange. Well, here we go, the two guys find its mark. <laughs> oh, okay, Ben Oh, and Ben recovers quickly enough for Kakeyo-san to use the 5k to entire low right there. Okay, very nice punish nice on the Ben right there. Oh, and very nice awareness from Kakeyo Togo-san to bag that. Oh, yeah, this is going to be a big bait from the... Burst right there and one round of peace. Man, this is so close. It's so crazy. Oh, get okay, backdash. Not doesn't get hit by the aerial uh, attack from Ro. Uh, okay, very nice uh, spacing and uh, zoning from Low. Really keeping Kakadus on out right there. Everything's going pretty good for Law and he gets the command grab. This is gonna do. Yeah, this is it. Oh, I think it's it is. Yeah, this is kind of high. Oh, ooh, that was close, okay. Here we go. Yep. You know, to convert anything, so I think they'll be careful of um, the low profiles, really, I think. Definitely. Here we go, big engine Nikki okay. and attempts to really just zone uh, Kakiri-san out. Oh, where, where did damn. that come from? I have no idea. <laughs> where, where, where did <laughs> I didn't even know it was a thing. Ah, that's, uh, oh, and the perfect man. The statement. The statement. The big statement, man. Yeah, uh, and I think it's really a firecracker. Firecracker. Firework. <laughs> Is uh, doing a great job at like uh, keeping Kakeo this on out and it will do a lot of damage in the uh, first, uh, first, first round of this set as well. Daddy Hakuman with his accent. Sorry, needed to at least have a cringe comment once per person. <laughs> <laughs> I love I love Hakuman's accent actually. It's really I I love the British accent. So it's so refined. It's not British. Hey, it's not. No. <laughs> It's going more refined for this game in support of our fine fellow Axel. <laughs> oh, really? But uh, this uh, your normal accent is in the British accent? It is, it is. It ah, it is. is a, okay, okay, okay. That's what I thought. Uh, uh, okay. Okay, yeah. like, my standard of Britishness is like sounding like the Queen is like true British. <laughs> and look at that. I yeah, that big it damage is. right there. Just like this, Kakuritoko Sun brings it back. One round of peace. <laughs> Yasta, Wow, and the big 2S counter hit right there into the snail. Oh, and the branded bringer landing right on the 2S. This is unfortunate. Oh, okay, very big bended bringer right there. Oh, okay, here we go. Alternating between. <laughs> ah, and the 5HS a little bit too long. Ah, uh, and this is unfortunate. We are. They have to. They definitely have to. The hands must be tied. So though it's now on a tournament point, going from losing bracket grand reset to tournament point. Let's see if Kakeru can make some adaptations. But uh. Oh, unfortunate. And the big punish on the burst right there from Lo is gonna get a ton of damage. Good stuff. Uh, there you go, Kakeru. Son, you've got main steam going. That's what happened, buddy. That's not gonna get you hyped up. <laughs> Ooh. And the statement, just Ooh. like this, we are on tournament point, ladies and gentlemen. If Kakeru Togo doesn't win this one, it's going to be. Ah, and the big DP right there. Ah, yeah, you can see Kakeru san is getting a little bit angsty right now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, just. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, he's really taking big risks right there, but I think he has to probably. Ah, uh, and no, really not letting up, man. Okay, very good, what the running towards low and just doing a 5k look at the damage look at the damage <laughs> oh my lord i love watching oh my lord they're not against me they're not against me yeah of course that freaking damn it was out of this world okay trade right there in favor of no one but okay here we go kakeri-san you need to stay alive 
still alive. Are we gonna see the adjustment? Yeah. Thank you, son. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, no snail Roman cancer right there. Okay, yeah. Oh, that was so cool. Yeah, but, uh, this, oh yeah, yeah, this is gonna do. I uh, know, unfortunately, Kakuya-san loses, but it's okay. It was a